Hi Scorpios, happy birthday. Um, it's your season. All right, so you're just walking around telling everybody the truth, right? <laughs> telling it like it is. I like it. I love it. Let's get started. Let's, let's see what's going on. Uh, thank you to all that like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is oh, much appreciated. We're going to do two cards for the past. Two cards. Alright, we got the end of an era. Maybe for the present. I'll just start flip over if it comes out. Then, you know. Okay. Three cards. Want to come out for the present. Heavenly signs. Join in. Leaving. Okay. And for the future, we have moving. Ooh. These two under my memories, a new exercise plan. All right, okay, so let's get into it. Let's see what this is all about. So we have in the past, self-care, volunteer. Some of you, your health isn't, wasn't good. You needed to really evaluate where you were, or where you are. This is past us, so were, where you were health-wise. You know, and that's, your own, you know, your own self evaluation. You know, if you if you're happy, you're happy. If you're not, you're not. You do something about it and you move on. Uh, volunteer to be volunteer about, you know, um, Volunteers to put yourself in, uh, you know, willingly and knowingly. I'm hearing volunteer information. Maybe in the past you had to volunteer some information. Also, you have to, uh, this is, I'm hearing volunteer, you know, before someone makes it mandatory or mandates you to do something like, you know, something around your health. Um, go ahead and do it. You know, whatever it may be. Um, if you know you have health issues, don't wait until the doctor tells you, well, you well, you have to do this, you have to do that. Go ahead and do it. So let's see what this self-care and volunteer was about in the past. Not Prince of Swords, yeah. This was about taking action, um, getting r real and honest with yourself, your truth. The Prince of Swords, all they offer is truth, their truth, their clarity. Um, that's that's a Scorpio, their truth. Um, I think really uh, being honest with yourself where you were um, emotionally and uh, physically. You also volunteered some information, like I said, you volunteered your truth about this. You might, you might have been confrontational, or maybe you volunteered to an air sign, they were confrontational. Something happened here. Yep, let's see what this is about. Five of Cups. Um, it might have been truth about a situation that just no longer served you. Or it might have been that someone, some air sign came to you, volunteered how they felt about you or about a situation that involved you. It brought you to a place of reminiscing and um, being sad about something you, you really don't have any control over. With the Five of Cups, it's about being sad, crying over things that you don't have control over. For some of you, you started to um, eat more. I'm mean, just hearing like eat, like eat, eat, cook, just eat. You, you. Some of you miss home, miss friends, miss family. <sighs> okay, we're gonna come back to this. There's a lot there for that particular Scorpio or particular set 
heavenly signs join in and leaving is where you are presently heavenly signs so spirit is speaking through to you through people images uh, objects the signs are here join in join in this talks about joining a group of individuals that share similar or same interests there's some common denominator there this talks about physically joining a group not online not virtual in regards to ten of pentacles maybe home uh, family um, what you've already established for some of you it's a breakdown of a marriage you're leaving a marriage somebody's leaving a marriage or a long-standing relationship where you want to you need to talk to somebody about this wow and then justice a lawyer um, could be dealing with a Libra Capricorn Virgo Taurus um, allow what is to happen karmically to happen don't um, try to hinder what's going to happen. Because something is happening or has happened. Uh, some of you are evaluating, do I stay or do I go with this leaving here? Wow. And then the three of wands. Some of you are leaving. You have put behind partnership. You have put behind what you established. And you're, you have futuristic thoughts of moving on. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Moving. In the future, you will be moving or someone's moving. Memories and new exercise program. So we go from in the past knowing that we need to take care of ourselves with self-care. And then in the future, we have... Here, a new exercise program, which is self-explanatory. Uh, moving, moving, moving. What is this about? It could be moving away from a negative way of thinking. Moving away ne from negative people. Actually, physically moving. Um, let's see, moving. The sun. Wow, it's a positive move. Whatever it may be, you may have gained some clarity, some light. Whatever this move is surrounding, it's a yes. It's a yes answer. It's, it's blessed. It could be around children also. Two of Swords. You know you need to make a decision about where you are with a certain situation or a certain person. It's head over heart. You're trying to guard yourself. For making the wrong decision again I heard okay in the memories of the good times this is what keeps you this is what holds you close near this is what keeps you there Wow and it, this is what keeps you um, contemplating a second chance or you are wanting a second chance because someone is moving away from you Scorpio wanting a second chance a rebirth of situation uh, and this person has to contemplate what they're going to do maybe it could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius the Lord yeah um, This is typically the married man. This is a man. Some man, some Scorpio wants a, a second chance here. My only issue is that there's no offers here. It's just the, the wanting, the wishing, and the longing for. Let's see. The magician at the bottom of the deck. Someone's trying very hard to manipulate the energy to get exactly what they feel is right for them. Let's get some angel answers in here to close this out. In the past, you had to choose a new direction. I really feel like this was in regards to your health and well-being. 
some of you I just kept hearing eating 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 like just eating uh, forgiveness flew out of the deck we'll keep that there um, you either need to forgive Scorpio or you need to ask for forgiveness someone wants a divorce someone is leaving this could be you this could be someone you're dealing with okay and then near future what do we have for Scorpio okay two cards be assertive and let go um yeah it's almost contradictory, right? Like, assert yourself and then, like, uh, well, I mean, it, it not really. Um, say exactly what it is you want. Don't be passive with it, like the two of swords. Be assertive about where you are in regards to, um, and then let go and, and let the universe take over. What will happen will happen. Uh, we're going to finish this up over the other side this is definitely relationship uh, I apologize to those who are looking for career and finance or a more spiritual take on things um, request a personal reading from me or some other gifted reader um, Scorpio happy birthday and know that I am praying for you guys pray for me as well I hope to see you on the other side to see what outcome we get here um, if you go if you click the link takes you to my website you get the extended reading the extended reading is one dollar fifty cent um you can invest in a potential outcome and not lose a whole bunch of money doing so so i hope to see you there and i hope that it resonates with you for you um take care guys bye